Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner in my car. How y'all doing today? I hope all is well with everyone. I'm sorry, I'm dodging little people here, walking their dogs and running down the street. Anyway, how is everyone doing? Good to see everyone today. Well, it's Wednesday for me here, and I am off to get my talons done. My finger talons and my toe talons. Haven't had my toe talons done in a very, very, like, years. Three, four, five years. That's something I don't normally spend money on. I can paint my own toenails and this and that, but my feet... They're a little dry, got a little dryness happening, got a little, 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 little bit of business that they can take good care of with a pedicure. So I'm actually going to get a pedicure and get my nails, my toenails painted a pretty red. So I'm going to do that and get my nails done because look, they're just yucky. They are growing off the ends of my fingers here. So get them done and... Chris is out on a very long motorcycle ride, although he's been gone since 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, and we'll probably be back. He might be back, actually, before I get back. I don't know. So, but I don't have anything else on my agenda, no more shopping or anything else to do today, but one of you guys had asked me to do a little bit of a you know a video on those little care packages that I have up in the guest bedrooms upstairs just to go through them and show you what I have and I think I might try to do that when I get home and show you guys you know what I do in there and other than that I just have some organizing to do and I don't know whether I'll do that on camera and I don't even know whether I'll get to that today uh, so it might just be a car chat and then there's little baskets, to be honest with you. I don't have a lot going on and I need kind of a day. I think I'd rather do my organizing when I don't have anywhere else to go or anything else to do. I'd rather just, you know, get home and, or rather stay home and just, you know, attack that, those three shelves out in that garage and do a little purging and reorganizing and setting aside things that I uh, want to redecorate with here between the 4th of July and fall. Man, I'm itching to do that. Can y'all tell? <laughs> Isn't that awful? Uh, it is a really pretty day here. You know what? I don't even know what the forecast is, but right now it's beautiful. It's 75 degrees. Oh my goodness. You guys, that's chilly <laughs> for summertime in Virginia here where I live. It is usually 100 degrees with 100% humidity, as I've mentioned before. But it is beautiful today. I bet you Chris is having a, a big time on his on his motorcycle. And, and yes, for those who may be wondering, I definitely have gone with him many times on his motorcycle. It's just that right now, even though I'm trying to lose some of this tonnage, I still feel like I'm I'm uncomfortable on the back of the motorcycle. He can handle my weight just fine. He's he's strong and he has no problem. But I feel uncomfortable. So, he likes to go. Plus, I'll be honest with you. Driving, I think he'll be gone like eight hours. Eight hours. He has a big gold wing, which is really nice. And we have the helmets with the, you know, with the microphones. And we can talk to one another and this and that and the other thing. Which is great. And, and listen to music and you know it's fun they're fun rides <laughs> but eight hours on that thing my rear would not be happy so I'm just as happy with him going off and and doing his little his little rides or big rides whatever and I don't know whether I'm cooking dinner this evening or what not sure what we're doing we didn't talk about it got stuff for salad so I could just make us big salads which would be really good for us and other than that you guys it's really bright out here today you know really bright maybe I should put my free sunglasses on we think there we go 
Anything free is good, huh? He's kind of give everything like an amber kind of a glow. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> the sky looks like turquoise instead of blue. You know, I've thought about telling you guys the story of my mom's illness. If some of you don't know, she passed away of Alzheimer's. And it's been almost four and a half years, I can't even believe it, that uh, she passed away. I just, I don't tell you because I don't think I could get through it. <laughs> I don't think I could get through the story. Because it's a horrible illness. You know what, and I don't like to be down and downtrodden and, and maudlin in these little car chats. Lord knows I cry enough, huh? <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll tell her story. I don't know. I just, it, it's, it's a hard one to tell and it's, it's, it's not a pleasant one to tell, you know? I'd rather concentrate on the fun times that we had and how wonderful of a mom she was to me. How smart she was. <laughs> she was so smart. She really nothing much tripped her up, I'll tell you. They say that about Alzheimer's too. Well, I noticed that and I have read other studies that just, I, I don't know why, but I mean when she was in the Alzheimer's unit she was in a memory care unit and there were professors, college professors, a judge, uh, lawyers, doctors, just, you know, very, almost all of them were very, very intelligent, very, uh, you know, smart people. And my mom was too. But I took her speech. It made it so she couldn't um, converse any longer. And that was very sad just in and of itself because she had quite a lovely vocabulary. My girls always tease me and tell me I have an SAT, you know, the test they take for kids to get into college vocabulary. <laughs> I don't know. They always tease me and tell me that, but uh, it took her it took her voice away, and her speech, not her voice, but her speech. The Alzheimer's affected that portion of her brain very early on. Almost, she got very quiet, and then when she did talk later, it was just babbling, you know. And I would just agree with her. I would just say, "Okay, mom, that sounds good," you know, and she get all animated and agree with me and we just sit there and shake our heads and have a big time and talking about gobbledygook talking about nothing but she loved to converse you know like that so sad <sighs> life is too short to worry about it though you know people say you know oh, my dad always says you're not going to get Alzheimer's you're too much like me <laughs> and that's true I am my dad's daughter I look like him, and I act, I, I act like him, too. And, uh, but you know what? I, you know, it, who knows? And I, I think there's a test you could take it. I'm not going to take it. I don't want to know. I mean, you, I don't want to know. <laughs> if it hits me, it hits me, you know? That's not to say I don't prepare, and that is a good, this is a big reason for my YouTube channel, too. If that does happen to me, my girls, Chris, my family, my grandchildren, if there are ever any, will always be able to go back and say, there's Grandma. Look, she was on YouTube. <laughs> Of course, as I said, I have all of my stuff, you know, uh, saved too, so I don't need to be on YouTube. And who knows, you know, you gotta wonder, you know, 10 years ago, where was YouTube? 
I mean, it was it was around, you know, 10, uh, you know, you got to wonder what, what is it going to be in 10 more years or 20 more years, you know? There'll be another, you know, social media outlet out there, I'm sure, and, and this will seem antiquated. You know, YouTube chit chats, car chit chats and whatnot will, will seem antiquated. You know, time marches on. We're just lucky to keep up, aren't we? But anyway, I'm almost to my uh, nail place. So I'm going to hush up. And I will catch y'all when I get back to the house. Bye for now. Hey everyone, I'm back home. <laughs> and I got my nails done. Look, I chose red. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And she hand painted the pictures on my ring fingers. So something a little different. I like to do a color every now and again. And it's the 4th of July coming up, so I'll have these through the 4th. So it's really bright out here. I should have brought these fancy sunglasses out here with me. Whew. It's usually earlier in the day when I do these chats, but it's a little later. Chris got home and we had something to eat and now he's out doing his lawn back there behind me somewhere and I thought I would go ahead and go through these little care packages so I ran upstairs actually I did not run I never run up the steps <laughs> I took them one at a time and went up and I picked up the care package out of the purple bedroom and you know what guys I don't even know how I came up with this idea or what brought this idea to mind I just I never did this in my other house really maybe at the end toward the end of the time we lived there but I don't know I just I don't know whether I saw it on YouTube or Pinterest or I or just it came to me one day that I really wanted to add uh, care packages in each room how nice you know to go some go to somebody's house's house and let's say you forgot your toothbrush well they're gonna have it there for you you forgot your body wash or you know a poof or you know whatever else so that's what you know I thought I would do I would just leave everybody a care package and tell them that they're welcome to take whatever they want out of it when they leave you know kind of a little gift for them too so some take them and some don't and and either way is fine with me that's why it's there for them to take it so but anyway I thought I would go through uh, the purple bedrooms basket anyway and just explain the only difference in the basket are the types of lotion and body wash that I have in the baskets and of course you know it has to match <laughs> the room the basket I have three different baskets I'll put I'll insert pictures here let's start let's see this is the purple room I'll put a picture well you all can see it here And you know that room is kind of purple and and grays and silvers so this is what I chose for that room and then <clears throat> the turquoise room is obviously turquoise and khaki and whatnot so I picked up this basket from Hobby Lobby I got all three of these baskets from Hobby Lobby when they were half price every other week they have little you know totes and baskets like this on sale for 50% off so I literally went when they were on sale and picked up the baskets <clears throat> so and here is the turquoise rooms basket and then here is the happy rooms basket And as you can see, all three baskets match the three guest bedroom, you know, motif decor in the rooms. So I will go through this purple basket and let you know. But first, let me tell you, like I said, the only difference is, is I get body wash and I get uh, body cream 
and body spray. Those are the three I usually you get. Know, so I always watch the sales and pick them up when they have either free shipping or low shipping. And, you know, I just pick up the, you know, scents or colors that I want. This is kind of a, and I'm not going to try to explain the scents. Honestly, I'm terrible at that. So this kind of has a coconutty, a little, here I am. So let me explain, you know. This is kind of a fresh but coconutty smell. And this is what I had in the happy room. So there we go. I do not have anything of what I had in the turquoise room. So I have a feeling that Kristen took that with her when she left, or it's in the happy bathroom, and I didn't check, or it's in the, you know, one of the bathrooms up there, and I didn't check for that. But regardless, it had some kind of turquoise color, and I don't remember what the, something beautiful, I think, something beautiful. Maybe I'll look it up and put the word there across my face, and y'all will know. Uh, but I don't have any of it upstairs, so I really need to make an order myself. I need to place an order from Bad Bath and, or from uh, Bath and Body Works. So, I don't have any of that to show you that I have in the turquoise room. So let's move on to the purple room. And uh, well, while I'm sitting here, let me go through also too, to go along with the bath products, I also get poofs to match. So obviously this came out of the turquoise room. And these two came out of the happy room. You know, it's all gotta match because you know, I'm, I'm not anal retentive at all. You know, and then this is the purple bedroom. I don't think I have a, I don't have a purple poof. So I just think I used, uh, you know, for my dad. So he can, not that he's going to use the smells good stuff, but he does use the poof, I feel sure. So anyway, those are the poofs. So I always get a poof and I replenish them. I don't just let the same poof sit there. I replenish them. So, all right, let's go through this basket. And as you can see, it's pretty full, you know. And uh, I did fill this one up with a couple more hand towels, a couple of extra hand towels. So I always try to have at least one extra hand towel. And in this basket, I have two. I just rolled it up. And then for the purple room, I have Dark Kiss is the type of uh, lotion. I got the lotion, excuse me, the shower gel, the cream, and the body spray. And this, I'll see if I can figure it out. A little bit like, uh, maybe a little bit of like a lilac smell. Don't quote me though. <laughs> so anyway, these are, and I also have, I don't know why, but I also have, well I know I bought some uh, soap for the sink and I have some more in warm vanilla sugar. So I have warm vanilla sugar, just a bottle of that in here too. Those are the bath products, and let's see, everything else is the same in all three baskets. So I just brought one, and would go, I thought I would just go through one to give you an idea of what I use in all three. So, first thing is a little uh, first aid kit, you know, and these, I just bought these from like and that, somewhere cheap, you know, from... Uh, Target or Walmart. I don't remember where I got these, but it just has like an antiseptic wipe and, you know, gauze pads and band-aids, you know. So that's just a little box of a first aid kit. Tissues, little puffs. I remember where I got these. I got these in a pack of like 10 from and that one day. Most of this is going to be from Ann That because they have a whole section or the Christmas shop. If you guys don't have an Ann That, it might be the Christmas shop. They have a whole section of like travel size stuff, and um, I, that's where I bought most of this stuff at. So let's see what else. I got a little sewing kit. And again, what's in this basket, all of the stuff I'm showing you is in every basket up there. I got a little bit of toothpaste and mouthwash and a little travel toothbrush. And in here I have another travel toothbrush. Can't ever have enough travel toothbrushes. <laughs> and 
I have another thing of toothpaste. And let's see, I have some, you know, people want to do their nails sometimes at night. Or at least I would possibly. I don't have fingernail polish, but I do have fingernail polish remover and little pads, little rounds that they can use to take their fingernail polish off with. And a nail, nail file. How many times have you been somewhere and you forgot to throw your nail file in your purse? That's me all the time. Well, not with these nails, but with my regular nails. I always try to have a nail file in my purse and invariably I would forget it and like, you know, anybody have a nail file? So I thought, I'm gonna get nail files to put in my little care packages. And let's see, look, I have warm vanilla sugar happening all over the place in here. I have two more hand creams. I do, whoops, I do encourage folks to take them and put them in their purses, you know? So, that's why I have so many. And I also have uh, antibacterial. You can get these like 10 for something. These are also from Bath and Body Works. And I know I've got like a pack of 10 or whatever. So I have Hey Honey Bun. And Donuts About You. <laughs> That's cute. And cupcake sweetie and let's see in the same vein as fingernails if you wanted to paint your toenails you'd be good to go because that's the little thing you stick between your toes you know keep your toes spread apart so you can paint your toes and a little candle this is again from Bath and Body Works this is Caribbean Escape I didn't provide them with a lighter or anything. I didn't think about that. But if they were one to light it, they could come find a lighter. And Q-tips. Come here, thing. Just cotton swabs. And one of these fancy dancy Bic Silky Touch 3 razor. But you know what I don't need? I need to get like shaving cream. You know, like the ladies, like the nice shaving cream. And maybe some men's too, you know? I didn't think about that, duh, until just now. Shaving cream, definitely needs to go with the, with the razor there. And only one more thing, and that is these little dental floss jobbies. We always use these all the time. So what I did is I just got some little bags, and I got these come in big packages and in that, and I just put like 10 in a pack. And that way I can replenish the little packages. And that's it, you guys. That's what I have in those little care packages that sit in all my guest bedrooms upstairs. So I think folks appreciate it being there. And, you know, maybe they've brought everything and haven't forgotten anything yet. But invariably somebody will forget something sometime that they'll be able to use something out of here. So I just think it's a nice touch. You know, my, my whole motto in life and with people coming to my house is you know come on in sit down be comfortable put your feet up relax act like this is your home you know and don't ever feel uncomfortable don't ever feel like you can't put your feet up don't I can't see it but it's there somewhere. I don't think it's the president. <laughs> uh, but that's been my, that's my whole goal is to, you know, to decorate and to, you know, have an atmosphere of welcoming when you come in, you know, and this, this kind of goes, you know, with that theme is, you know, come on in, sit down, put your feet up, feel comfortable, relax, have a good time. Let's chat. Let's have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, you know, so, I don't know. That's what you, that's what I came up with, and you know, it's just whatever you see. What I'm and I and there are times when I'm out shopping that I just like, oh, okay, I can stick that in a you know in the care packages and I'll buy three of the same thing and take them up and throw them in, you know. So anyway, that's it. I don't know if I'm going to get to my uh, my organizing this week. 
I don't have anything else going on, but I do have to do a little bit of, not much. I need to do some shopping and some uh, stuff to prepare for Stacy's house next week. And she and I might have a little something for you together. I don't think it's going to be a craft, but we might come on camera and, and talk with y'all just together for a little bit. I don't know if we have time. We might. And who knows what we'll get up to. But anyway, you might be seeing Stacy with me at her house <laughs> coming up. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I guess that's it for today. I'm kind of out of things to say. Um, you all will see this on Thursday at some point probably or Friday. And then I might not see you till Sunday or Monday. So hopefully not because my channel has been taken down this weekend. <laughs> Please, you know, let's not go through that again. You know, hopefully it will just be that I'm taking a few days to spend time with family and uh, get some things done around the house that like vacuuming and dusting and all that lovely stuff. So, but anyway, I hope all is well with everyone and I hope that everybody's health is okay. And Cindy, I'm thinking of you every day. Uh, you know, hopefully you're recovering well. And everybody else who's had any kind of surgery or an illness, I hope you're recovering well. And those of you who are not so mobile and everything, I, I'm glad that you come back and that I can try to entertain you guys a little bit with my ramblings and whatnot. And I'm glad you guys stop by and spend time with me. I wish I could talk with y'all sometimes, but you know how I feel. So, uh, also too, it's getting pretty crazy trying to answer everybody's comments back. I love all your comments and I see all of your comments. And um, please know that, you know, when I leave you a heart, it's saying a lot more than the heart. Uh, I don't ever want to upset anybody by not, uh, you know answering you back but it's getting a little bit hard it sometimes can take me a couple of hours <laughs> because I can't just say oh thanks you know no I've got to go on and you know and 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 talk for five minutes about whatever you know because you know I, I'm kind of like that I never shut up so but please don't get your feelings hurt if I if I only leave your heart you know because though it's from my heart so, all right, you guys, I'm going to put all this stuff back together and then uh, toodle on back in the house and find Chris and see what he's up to. And I'll try to get this little video put together and I'll be talking to you soon. So I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.